We saw last week what your what your timeout said that if you keep with the run, sooner or later they're going to pop. You pop once, twice, third time. Is that kind of what you're talking about there? Yeah, it's one of those things. I'm um, like to say, um, with the zone scheme, that's how it is. Going to get one or two yards here and there, and then, like I say, eventually um, they're going to start popping. And that's what happened last week. <laughs> how do you get that to happen from the beginning of a game and have it last throughout the whole game? You know, it's, 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 if I had the answer, I could tell you, but um, I don't really have an answer for that. You just have to just have to keep grinding. You know, I think it's one of those things when you get a defense going down and you know you steady coming out double. You know, eventually you're gonna start hitting those runs. Take some confidence in from that. Oh, this is how how we do it. And can you take that into this game and carry over? Oh yeah, I feel like it was a trickle down. You know, confidence for me, the offensive line, everybody. You know, was yeah. going out there and uh, guys just kept hitting it hard. Mm -hmm. What did the Bucks do so well against the run? Number one against the run in terms of yards per carry. No, um, they have great run stoppers up front. First off, that's one of the main things. You know, um, those backers and things are flying to the ball and getting there. So that's something that's gonna um, yeah, we're gonna have to go out there and um, make sure we get on our blocks and sticking with them. Why do you think the offense has a better start than second half? Like, no, um, you know, I guess after the halftime speech, you know, it's gonna make you come out there and um, play a little harder, but. Uh, you know, for us, you know, it's one of those things, you know, I feel like we've been starting slow a lot, but like I said, we just try to stick with it, and eventually we're going to start getting everything together, and you know? I feel like the more offense we're going to sink, the more we're going to be able to start out from good and job. It seems you feel you're, you're getting pretty close to getting everything together from where you were maybe a month ago to now. I feel like a lot of the things, um, you know, just working out the kinks of our offense, and I feel like, like you say, we're getting there a lot better than we were a month ago. I feel like the last couple games we've had um, been pretty consistent, not very consistent with the running game, but we've been pretty consistent as far as the ball, the ball. You know, I feel like it's something that just, just keeps sticking with me. How important is it to win this game to get back four and four, kind of even ground, and then kind of hit the second half? It's, it's very important for us. For us, we want to keep stacking wins one week after another. You know, um, you know, and this will be another win to stack. So we want to go out there and try to get us some. What's the key? You guys better success in the red zone. What do you think, from your standpoint, what do you think is the key to being more efficient down here in the end zone? I think it's just executing and making the plays when they're presented. You know, um, we've had opportunities in the red zone, it's just a matter of executing the plays when they're presented to us. Carson said you guys worked on that today a little bit, which is unusual for a Wednesday. Is there an urgency to get this this issue fixed at this point? Yeah, because uh, we've been in the, lot, or in the red zone a lot, but I don't feel like we haven't had many touchdowns on that, so that's one of the things we want to be able to work on and um, just execute it better. Thank <laughs> you.